three, the wilderness school. When would the wilderness instruction begin? God the teacher waited and waited for the teachable moment, a moment which came when the people grumbled about food. Yahweh responded by showering them with an edible substance called, what is it, or manna. The way God gave the manna and the way the people gathered it and shared it taught the people how to live as a special people on this earth. Here is what they learned. Lesson one, what happened? God provided the manna each day. What the partner people learned. All food is God's. In fact, everything is God's. We own nothing. We can trust God for our daily bread. The people gathered manna each day for their clan. Work is the dignified activity of all helping God, of helping God meet the needs of all people. Larger clans gathered more and smaller clans gathered less. All had enough and no one had too much. God gives daily food, so hoarding is unnecessary. Food is for all not just the big deals or the deserving. God gives enough. All can therefore live in sufficiency with neither too much or too little. God taught the second lesson when some of the people decided to hoard manna. Hoarding means taking and taking and taking. Evidently, they were attracted to the old pharaoh's Egypt belief that having a pile of manna makes a big deal and brings happiness. But the hoarded manna grew maggots and spoiled. Becca, do you know what maggots are? No. Like little baby bugs. Ew. So lesson two, what happened is some people hoarded God's manna. The manna they kept grew maggots and smelled foul. What did the people learn? The Pharaoh's Egypt way brings rot, decay, and death. Ew. That was a hard lesson, huh? Now for the third lesson. Hold that one. Yahweh, the creator and liberator and teacher, had one more great lesson to share with the students of the wilderness school, the meaning of Sabbath. Yahweh wanted the partner people to receive this beautiful gift of rest and refreshment, the gift of time to enjoy fully what life is all about, friendship with God and others and nature. Lesson three, what happened, is no manna fell on the seventh day of the week. Enough fell on the sixth day to feed the people both on the sixth and seventh day. The manna stored for the Sabbath did not rot. What did the people learn? Humans do not have to work every day to receive and distribute God's manna. The extra time is a beautiful gift of which God that which makes it possible for humans and animals and earth to rest. Sabbath allows humans to experience full time the wonder of friendship with God and others and all creation. Yahweh asked the people to carry the jar of manna with them and keep the jar when they settle down. This precious jar of manna would remind them of the lessons they learned in the wilderness school. We own nothing. All is God's. All is gift. God gives enough for all to be shared by all. Hoarding causes rot. It stinks. Work is helping God distribute manna, the gift God promises to all. And God gives rest so humans can practice full time what life is all about. Friendship with God, friendship with others, friendship with nature. God poured out the manna day after day, dreaming of a universal manna society, a world where all receive, thank, and share. 
Yahweh dreamed of a world in which there are no more big deals and little deals, rich or poor, oppressors or oppressed, where humans live in harmony with all creation, each part living for the good of the whole. Yahweh dreamed of Shalom, a mended universe.